once the Second World War uh, broke out, uh, these this bad blood uh, that Yuzhevsky had tried to um, to make disappear, unfortunately, uh, reappeared. He himself uh, had not had not been in the region uh, in the year leading up to the war, because after the death of Yuzhev Piłsudski uh, in 1935. Uh, the people that came to power after him, they were still Pilsudski's allies, uh, but they had tried to, um, they didn't have his, uh, neither his charisma, uh, his persona, or this uh, uh, authority uh, that, that he had had with the Polish people. So they tried to uh, win the hearts and minds of Poles in a different way, which is by adapting a lot of policies uh, of the opposition. Uh, which at the time was uh, the National De Democracy Movement, which was strongly against any ideas to give the Ukrainians uh, a lot of autonomy and, and various rights. Uh, this led to a situation in which uh, Yuzhevsky had a, a more difficult time to uh, exercise uh, his, his um, uh, wield his power, so to say, in, in the region of Volhynia. And uh, in 1938, after two years of this deteriorating situation, he resigned uh, in protest against, against the polonization efforts of uh, the Orthodox Church in the region. The, uh, the Polish state tried to reclaim as many uh, churches as possible for the Catholic faith uh, at the expense of the Orthodox churches there. Uh, and this, uh, this was uh, one step too far for Yuzhevsky. He resigned. Instead, he was given a position as the governor of uh, the Wuch province, which uh, didn't have uh, a significant Ukrainian minority, barely any, to, to be honest, uh, meaning that they kind of cut the ties a little bit between Yuzhevsky and, and the Ukrainians. So once the war broke out in 1939, Yuzhevsky was no longer in power. Uh, many of the Ukrainians they aided the, the Red Army that was invading from, from the east uh, 17 days after the Germans had invaded from the west. Um, and this uh, created again more bad, bl bad blood between the Poles and the Ukrainians, with the Poles consider considering this as treason against uh, the Polish state. Uh, however, 1940, uh, 1941, uh, were years uh, where it was mainly Soviet terror against, uh, against uh, the Poles and the Ukrainians in the region. Uh, so there wasn't a lot of conflicts between Poles and Ukrainians at the time. However, in 1941, actually, during the summer, uh, the Germans with Operation Barbarossa invaded the Soviet Union, and um, Volhynia being a border region, uh, the strike came directly at Volhynia, and for the first few weeks, even months, uh, the Red Army was in disarray, uh, retreating very quickly uh, towards Moscow. So there wasn't a lot of heavy fighting in the region. Instead, the Germans came in, and in the eyes of the Ukrainians, it looked like a crushing defeat for the Red Army. Uh, they believed that now the Germans uh, had come in to uh, save them from both uh, the Soviets and the Poles <laughs> and give them uh, Ukrainian independence. Uh, this was uh, what uh, the leader of uh, the Ukrainian uh, organization of nationalists, uh, Stepan Bandera, uh, thought. Uh, this is also what uh, many of the key figures in Ukrainian public life believed and therefore uh, they sided very early on, immediately practically, with uh, the invading Germans uh, in a similar fashion as we could have, as, as was seen in the Baltic states uh, in slightly different uh, circumstances also in Finland, with Finland joining in uh, in the so-called continuation war against the Soviet Union in 1941 after first having been, been attacked in the Winter War by, uh, by, by the Soviet Union in 1939. So there was this, um, you could say, line of collaboration. Uh, uh, maybe, f maybe for Finland it could be too strong of a word, but uh, for the Baltic states and, and for, uh, for, for Ukraine, that is uh, the reality. Many of, many of them signed up 
for various uh, volunteer uh, formations um, to fight along uh, the Wehrmacht against uh, the Red Army. Um, Adam, as usual, the clock in the corner of the room has defeated us. I'm going to have to ask you to pause there, but we will pick it up next time. I've had to ask Adam to pause, but fear not, if you join us next time on Poland Daily History, as we hope you will, we'll pick up the story. Until then, thank you very much for watching.